Hello YouTubers, this is Elton and Laura Fan again with another cassette recorder. This time I have what I would call one of the twins. This is a General Electric model number 3-5105C cassette recorder. This was made in 1976, so this is as old as I am. This one is, I would say, a higher quality, well not quality, but an upper, more upper end model. This one comes with an erase jack. It says right there, erase plug storage, if it'll focus but of course it won't do that for me I'm not worthy <laughs> this particular one was made in Korea dear Sigmund no just kidding um, <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite tape recorders because I have fond memories I used to have a similar model probably one of the multiple types of this model made I had a long time ago that was given to me because long time ago little kid I had an auction with my family saw a tape recorder I wanted it my uncle said bid on it so I was bidding on it some dude kept bidding against me some guy everybody started to hate him because every time I bid he'd outbid me he was starting to get boos and hisses and stuff like that I had to give up totally defeated some woman come up to me and goes, I got a tape recorder I, that you can have, and she gave it to me. So, yeah, boo and hiss on you, you bastard who outbid me on that one tape recorder, and if you're dead, guess what, I don't care. Um, I know that was probably wrong of me to say, but oh well. Who bids against a little kid? Come on. So, um, quick tour. Takes five C cell batteries. There's the AC jack or plug in. Right here is for 7.5 volt, volts DC adapter in. This is the earphone or speaker, external speaker. This is the mic and remote tone control, volume control. Over here, nothing. On the side, you'll see it says sound vents. Got them on both sides. Got a fairly decent little speaker inside. I can't quite tell the size. I believe it is like a three and a half, four inch. And if I remember correctly from a previous model that I had apart, the speaker was, a brand was Honolulu, something like that. And I remember it was a four ohm speaker. Um. Here we go, basic buttons, record, rewind, which stays down, play. You have to hold down record and press play to record on this model, of course. Fast forward, which you have to hold down to continue to use, stop, eject, and an electric pause switch. It just basically kills the power to the entire system. An electric condenser microphone, and they'll handle. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of this recording using a TDK standard cassette. Here we go. I do not have an external microphone so I'll just have to use the built-in microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing, testing, end of test. Testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing, testing, end of test. As you can tell, uh, there is something wrong with the recording of this. I suspect a bad capacitor or two, maybe. I really don't know. Um, if one of you others out there would have a clue, please let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. And now, I'm going to do a playback test of a pre-recorded cassette. 
I am going to go ahead and use the ferrite cassette because it does play well in this. Um, this was recorded from a computer onto a Sony standard cassette deck with the line ends. This is a remix of Crocodile Rock with Elton John and Bob the Builder. Pretty cool remix. So here we go. <laughs> Control does have a short in it. As you can hear, it does have pretty good sound quality for playback of pre recorded tapes. In fact, I used to use this on multiple occasions when going on road trips in a car that did not have a cassette player in it so I just take this along put it in the passenger seat and off I went and did just fine go ahead and show you the pause so there she is um, thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it